What's up everybody, Superdorks fan here for a vlog that I never thought I'd ever be able to film. And so if you can't tell I'm in a phenomenal mood, reason being is that uh, someone that I know from Cars and Coffee actually sent me a message the other day and was like, pretty sure this is your car that's for sale again. And uh, it was the BRZ and I was like, what? So I like hurried up and checked it out. And uh, sure enough, you know, I saved the VIN number for my car and I checked the Carfax, it's definitely my car. And so it looks like the previous owner put about 9,000 miles on it over the past year and a half since I traded it in and um, so and uh, it looks great from the pictures and I called up the dealership and got their permission to come and film the car for you guys so I'm going to be able to check out my old VRZ again which is really really exciting I mean I love that car I still do love it and I miss it you know a lot from time to time and um, before anyone asks no I'm not going to buy it back I like the Mustang better um, it's more comfortable and I do a lot of driving and um, um, I like the additional power. I'm still waiting for Subaru to please make some kind of turbo version or STI version. Because if I was able to keep mine and I didn't have the rough you know, situation I did that forced me to sell it, I would have definitely down the road either turbocharged it or supercharged it because it needs more power. But, um, so I'm not going to buy it back So I, before anyone asks, but uh, I'm just wanting to show the car to you guys here and hopefully maybe even one of you guys will buy it and uh, you know, it'll continue to be in good hands for uh, many more years to come. And uh, you know, if I have the money one day, sure, I would love to buy it back and uh, you know, swap like a 5.0 Coyote Mustang V8 into it and that would be hilarious fun. I've seen a few people that have actually done that and uh, that would definitely be what I would do if I had an unlimited budget and was able to buy the car again. But um, yeah, so it's uh, it's just gonna be really exciting to see, you know, if anything's changed. Looks like all the mods and things that I've done that I left on the car, such as the shark fin antenna and the side markers that are cleared out and stuff. I think all that stuff's still on it. So it'd be just cool to see how it's held up. And uh, I mean, the car has certainly lived an easier life with this previous owner than it would have with me because, I mean, he only put 9,000 miles in a year and a half. And if I add up the miles I put on the Mini and the miles I put on the Mustang so far, if I had kept the BRZ, it would have had over 70,000 miles now at this point instead it's only at around 42,000 so it's lived an easier life so that's probably happy that uh, it's got an easier owner now but um yeah, so anyway, I'm not going to try and make this super long. I'm just very sentimental about this car because, you know, of course, I have you guys to thank for the growth of the channel and the success of the channel. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys watching and subscribing and sharing the videos, the channel wouldn't be where it is today for sure. But I also uh, attribute part of this channel's success to the BRZ because so many of you found me and found the BRZ when you were searching for BRZs, you know, a couple years ago when I was making those videos. And so without that car, many of you might not have found this channel. And so I'm really grateful to the car as well. I think the car has been one of the things that has helped me to you know, be in this position, to be doing my dream job, reviewing cars, and just being so blessed and just having a really great life. And um, so, yeah, I just, I get a little emotional about it. I still, I love that thing. So anyway, I'm, I'm talking too much here. So without further ado, I will uh, pick up this video here whenever we uh, get to the dealership. All right, guys, so here it is. It's in the showroom, so I'm going to try and be a little quiet here. Uh, there's some music playing, too. Sorry about that. But here it is. Uh, <laughs> looks exactly how I left it, basically. So it still has the clear side markers and um, still has the shark fin antenna from Beat Sonic that I installed on it. And uh, oh, it's just crazy to see this thing in person again. It's just wild. It looks like the owner kept really good care of it. You know, still a stock exhaust that I put back on it. And um, looks like there's no uh, condensation in the taillights either. So maybe that was finally fixed the last time that I uh, had them replaced. I think I replaced them three times before I got rid of it. But um, so and they got some new tires here on the back and I think on the front. I think all around they put some new tires. But uh, definitely remember all the little chips on the car. It looks like uh, the previous owner did touch up a lot of these chips here in the front. Um, you can see a lot of little touch up marks and things like that so I think he tried to touch that up because it was very chipped up after all the miles I put on it uh, you know I didn't have it clear broad or anything like that so um, but yep and uh, definitely my old one it's just it's crazy and uh, I'll just open the door here briefly but yep so like I said it's got about uh, almost 42,000 miles on it now and uh, looks like it's still in great shape. So 
have to sit in it here just for old time's sake. Sitting in my old VRZ. Never thought I'd get the chance to do this. I remember when I traded this car in the day that I did that I remember sitting in here one last time, like taking a mental image of what it was like and uh, never thought I'd be back in this car. So this is uh, pretty crazy. So, um, yeah, <laughs> lots of good memories in this thing. And uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, not a whole lot else to show. Everything's identical to the way I left it and I'm glad the previous owner took good care of it. Oh, I just noticed I uh, swapped those out for LEDs and those are even still in there. But, yep, it's uh, same way I left it. So I will put in the description the link to the classified ad for the car. Um, as you can see, it's Bowser here, um, which is in Pleasant Hills in Pennsylvania here, and uh, it's for sale. And uh, so yeah, just you can check it out in the description. But, yep, that's it. Wheels aren't curved or anything. Looks like the previous owner took really good care of it, so that makes me happy to see. Hopefully, the next owner takes just as good care of it. But anyway, so that is my old BRZ. So uh, let me know what you guys think about it, and thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.